We are tracking the very latest as we cover campaign 2010. Last night was a rough one for many local lawmakers. A handful of them, many who spent years as elected officials at the state house, were ousted by Rhode Island voters. Last night's primary election, 10 incumbents did not receive enough votes to hold their seats. Nine are House Democrats, the 10th a Senate Republican. Highway to Sue's reporter Nick Nuosu joins us now live in our studio with more on what it could mean at the state house. Well, Mike Aaron, it is still too early to say what will happen in November, but some have speculated that incumbent losses could mean trouble for House Speaker Gordon Fox. A total 10 House incumbents, 9 Democrats, and 1 Republican were ousted during Tuesday's primary. The constituents of each district have their own needs and their own uh, reasons for the way they vote. And if, that, if certain incumbents lost, then I guess they weren't connecting well maybe with their constituents. On the Senate side, Leo Blaze, the state senator from Coventry, lost to Nicholas Kettle. And in the House, nine Democrat incumbents lost Tuesday, most notably Judiciary Chairman Representative David Caprio, brother of gubernatorial candidate Frank Caprio. Other high-profile losses, Representative Doug Gablinski of Bristol and retired Providence policeman Representative Joseph Almeida. The primaries are usually not indicative of uh, what will happen in November. Senate President Teresa Paiva Weed declined to comment on the House races specifically, but incumbent losses could impact House Speaker Gordon Fox's chances of being re-elected. Representative Ferry says he's not worried. I'm not concerned what it means for Speaker Fox because I know Speaker Fox is um, an excellent leader and that what he has in store for the uh, General Assembly is, you know, to improve Rhode Island and I know that those those causes, those issues are what everybody believes in and, and that they'll be supporting um, Speaker Fox. Speaker Fox's spokesperson, Larry Berman, says though incumbents lost, several of the Democrats who won support Fox. Berman tells me Fox is confident he will be re-elected speaker, but his focus now is on the November elections. Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News. In-depth coverage of campaign